Here we have a power of a product property, but this time there's also a variable in front that we have to deal with. We know that we have to distribute this exponent into both terms. So the five and to the x squared term. So we have that five here, and now we distribute that two. Then we have that x squared. Now we distribute, so we're gonna multiply it by a two here, all right? So then as a result, we have here five to the second power, which becomes 25, x two times two becomes x to the fourth. That would be the complete answer, okay? Here we have a negative exponent. Let's just distribute first. So we distribute it here, then we distribute it here, all right? So we have that two, the exponent here is negative three. Then we have an x to the negative two, and we distribute, so we have to multiply that by negative three. So two to the negative three power, we don't like to work with that, so we're gonna bring it down, so it becomes two to the third. On top, we have x, negative two times negative three becomes a positive six, okay? So we don't need to touch that. So we have x to the six on top, and on bottom it is two times two is four, times two is eight. So that would be the answer, x to the six over eight. Then we have c, okay? Let's distribute the exponent in to the two. So we have two, the exponent here is negative two, then we have x to the 11, that negative two is gonna be distributed there, so we're gonna multiply that by negative two, okay? So again, we do not like the negative exponent, so we're gonna bring it down, so it becomes two to the two. This becomes x to the negative 22, which is on top. Again, we don't like it on top, so we're gonna bring it down. So there's a two to the second power on the bottom, and an x to the 22 on the bottom. So this becomes one over four x to the 22nd power. That would be its complete answer, All right? So there you go. That is how you do power of a product property with a coefficient in front.